Hello and hi everybody, welcome back to another one of this time. We are here with another one from Chains FR. It's definitely been a while since I reacted to this channel. And this one is My First Kiss. Um, I definitely do remember my first kiss. Um, it's a whole, it's a whole like long story. I don't really want to talk about it in this video because I don't want to make this video like 16 minutes long because I want to tell you guys a whole story. But at least a lot of us have had our first kiss at some point. Either it's from a girl or a boy you know from school, or just someone you met on the street, or just some random person that your parents forced you to kiss for some reason. I don't know. But my first kiss was from a, a childhood friend from school, and that ended, <laughs> did not end well for us. <laughs> so, yeah, but with that being said, uh, if you haven't yet uh, watched the original video and subscribe to change that far, then be sure to do so. The link to the original will be in the description. So, with that being said, let's get into this. You know what they say, there's a first for everything, bro. Like your first steps, your first dance moves, your first words. Dada! Hey, would you look at that? We're gonna get some milk. I'll, I'll be right back. Your what? First step dad? <laughs> No, Dada? Yeah, nah, nah, I'm ahead of two, actually. And your first kid. Man, the things I would do to go back and completely erase that shit from existence. Bro, all these Disney movies I was seeing as a kid had these first kisses turning ugly ass frogs into some fucking Giga Chads and shit. Like, spoiler alert, fucking ribbon. On top of that, the fact you have to close your eyes. Like, bro, imagine you're learning how to golf and you're about to take your first swing, and these motherfuckers are like, Yeah, no, uh, no, dude. With your eyes closed, bro. This is my first time. What do you expect to happen? <laughs> like honestly, my first kiss is top five worst chains moments of all time, and let's just say it's Mine top too. five. Literally, my first kiss led to my first ever breakup. You wanna know why? Because we did it on school ground. We kissed on school grounds. Like, and it wasn't anything crazy. It was just a. That's it. But literally, the whole school was literally surrounding us just seeing us kiss for the first time which bruh and because of that the staff member saw us and called us into the office the assistant principal actually called us into the office called her parents her parents did not like the fact that we kiss so they forced their daughter to break up with me so i was sad as a 12 year old and i wish i can i could have never have done that and I wish I never dated at 12 years old. Like I said, I wish I, if I said that, I don't know. I record this video like five times because people would not leave me alone. Or four. Or, or three. Oh my. That shit was really bad, bro. So with Maybe that being one. said, this story takes place in grade seven, which is the year I got my first girlfriend. Now, I told this story a few months back, but I purposely left out the part of my first kiss. Mm. Gosh, diddly darn, Chains. Why would you do such a preposterous thing? And the truth is, I was planning on taking this shit to the grave with me, bro, but fuck it. Sometimes you just gotta let the world know. What does it say? Okay, you're right. I got something to get off my chest. Epstein, wait, 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 wait. So for the homies who haven't seen the video, one day me, Bob, and Billy were mobbing around our local mall when we seen these three girls from our class. So we walk up to them and lay down some of the meanest twelve-year-old riz these girls had ever seen. And yo, shorty, I think shorty. I shit my pants. Can I get into yours? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh shit. Yeah. My bad. <laughs> My fault. Um, uh, hey, uh, hey, yo, shorty, <laughs> are you a cigarette? A am I a cigarette? Or what? You know, I'm trying to get lit and put your butt in my mouth. <laughs> Wait, what? Nothing. Oh boy. Please, 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 please. Holy shit, bro. L let me guess. You all got restraining orders. No. Worse. We got fucking girlfriends. And 12 year old me had no business dating nobody, bruh. Like, my dumbass could barely even handle playing Fortnite with a girl. Like, oh, uh, hey, Gamer Girl 97. Hey. Uh, I'm kind of low. Can I, can I chug on your jaw? Oh, no, bro. No, oh, no, 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 no. no. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Need heels. Can, oh. can I trade you? What do you need? Oh, yeah, yeah. Is there any way you can give me some mats? Oh, yeah. No, I'd love to give you my wood. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my <laughs> God. Oh, or anything you need, okay. anything else? Um, uh, yeah, I don't have a shotgun yet. Oh shit, I got three. Uh, okay. I can give you two pumps. Oh, no, it's one pump. No, wait. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, I can give you 
shotguns, I mean. <laughs> okay, okay. Where are you? I'm in this little wood fort I made. Oh, okay. I see you. Uh, l let me come in your box. Yeah. Wow. So needless to say, every single interaction I had with my girlfriend was awkward as shit. Because I had to pre-plan things to say in my head. And as soon as that Pretty shit went much, off yeah. script, <laughs> I was cooked. Uh, hey, Jessica, yeah. uh, how you doing today? Uh, honestly, just not, not the best. Oh, that's good. Uh, what'd you do today? Oh, uh, I, I don't know. I just, just did my makeup. Hey, me too. You, you what? did your makeup? Yeah, <laughs> we have so much in common. <laughs> no. Just have a nice day. Okay. And on one Friday after school, me, Bob, Billy, and our girlfriends all went to the mall together as we did every single day. But on this specific Friday, we rubbed together a few brain cells and realized, yo, do you got money? Nah. You got money? Zero. You got money? I'm broke. You got money? Uh, no. You got money? Yo. Why are we at the mall? Damn. Yeah, why are they at the mall if they're not even gonna buy anything? Don't go to my house. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? And so, of course, as the good kid I was, I text my mom to ask her to go. Greetings, mother. I would like to know if it's in the realm of possibility. <laughs> the realm of possibility. Your permission to visit the household of my dearest acquaintance, Nikki. Looking forward to hearing from you. Your favorite son, Chains. And I immediately get a call. Let me speak to her parents. Oh now, my. Chains for real have never. I've always been scared as. My parents. In my life, and I honestly don't plan on it. But even in grade seven, I could use my logic and reasoning skills to understand if your boyfriend had to get his mom to talk to your friend's mom for permission to slide to the crib. Instant ick, bro. There's just no way. And she she probably break up with me on the spot. So I'm doing anything I can to not let that happen. Uh, hey there, Miss For Real. This is Nikki's mom. I just want to let you know, Chains and his friends are welcome over anytime because they're. Um, because they're goaded with the sauce. What? <laughs> oh, hey, Nikki's mom. Sorry, it's kind of hard to hear you over all this bullshit. <laughs> You're not allowed at her house. Come home. Oh, now. my. Jeez, are you coming? Look, mom, I I'm not going to lie. You got to lock the fuck in right now. This is the first time in my life I've ever been invited to a girl's house, and there's cheeks up for grabs. Like, mom, this is my only opportunity. If you don't let me go with the for real bloodline, it might just end with me. <sighs> Okay, listen, Chains. I'll let you go this time, but you have to be home at 9 p.m. sharp. Yay, thank you so Yay. much, Mom. Now I'm paraphrasing, but the point is she let me go with the curfew of 9 p.m. So all six of us leave the mall, hop on the bus, and get off at Nikki's house. We go inside, sit on the couch, and now... It's even more awkward, bro, because instead of walking around the mall, all we had to entertain ourselves was ourselves. And just like any other awkward middle school scenario... That shit went like... <clears throat> so, uh, truth or dare? Yeah, That's exactly what I right. thinking. In my heart, instantly... You would think in a big group like this, they would have some sort of idea of what they can do as a big group. But no, they're just sitting there awkward as hell. I would hate to be in that situation. That's why when you go to someone's house, you gotta have ideas of what y'all can do in the house. Because if you don't go there plan, y'all are not gonna do anything. Like... Just by experience, like, if you just go to their house just to go there, y'all are probably going to get bored. That's just the truth. That's just the truth. Every day I go to my girlfriend's house, we literally just do nothing besides lay down in bed, maybe watch a movie here and there. Like, <laughs> like either you, you're you okay with not doing anything or you're just going to get bored. He drops, bro. Cause I knew if I picked there, I would have to kiss Jessica and shit, bro. That's a whole lot scarier than playing Fortnite with Gamer Girl 97. No. But regardless, Nikki starts the game of Truth or Dare. Hey, Billy, Truth or Dare? Oh, uh, Truth. Uh, what? What's your favorite color? Uh, uh blue. Oh, what? what kind of truth is that? Okay, what kind of truth change? is that? It's truth or dare. Uh, true. No. What? Uh, no. What? What do you mean, no? It's truth or dare. I said truth or dare. Dare, dare, dare. Okay, everybody wants it to do dare. Okay, fine, dare. You have to kiss Jessica. Uh, Bro, this time it wasn't a pickup line. When I say I just shit my pants, I mean, not literally, but metaphorically, I was shitting bricks, bro. And when I turned to Jessica, she's just sitting there straight faced as fuck. So, uh, Jessica, are you are you down? <laughs> like, like hypothetically speaking, of course. Mm hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. we're going in. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, uh, let me just, uh, uh, oh, well, I'm sorry. 
Uh, I ain't bro. I'm not gonna lie. This is fucking weird. You guys were just watching and shit. Like, I don't know. It's just kind of... Oh, so if we weren't watching you do it? Uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would actually... Wait, what the fuck? Every single I... one of these motherfuckers... Jesus right? Christ, they're like, fuck this. staring at the wall. Like, did you do it yet? We're not looking till you do it. No, hurry up, dumbass. <laughs> you know, like, all this pressure on me to do this shit, but... She's just out here patiently like, waiting there. How was your day? Yo, shut the fuck Just up. Kiss her already. What are you yapping about? And I did ass didn't know how to go about it. I ended up sitting on this couch, nervous as hell, <laughs> awkward as hell. She just waited for his lips to touch her. For 20 minutes, bro. Now 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Girl doesn't sound that long, but imagine sitting on a couch in complete silence with. In that kind of situation, 20 minutes feels like an eternity. Like, like even a minute feels so long. Like, but 20 minutes. Everyone's bro, just watch this. <laughs> My brother in Christ, that was 20, 10 seconds, 20 minutes. Doing that times a hundred. 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Second longest 20 minutes of my life, I'd say, you know what? Fuck it. And Nikki's mom walks in the room. Hey, who wants snacks? Oh. Uh. And at this point, I checked my shitty ass Samsung Galaxy 3 and it was already 8.50 p.m. Mm. And with the curfew at 9, I had no choice but to log in. So I lick my lips, close my eyes, and real quick, I smash our mouths together. And when I turn around, not a single motherfucker is facing the wall. I'm the other way, and Nikki's mom is peeking around the corner with her fucking mac and cheese uh. and shit. So I made like my pops, and I was out that hoe. Uh, pleasure doing business, Jessica. Uh -oh. Oh, wait, what? Where are you going? Uh, thanks for having me, Nikki's mom. What the hell was that? And I proceeded to sprint home, making it home at 8.59 exactly uh, one minute before my curfew and that night when i went to bed i couldn't sleep bro. i haven't been able to sleep since damn i should have taken this shit to the grave with me fuck <sighs> really the dad's at the milk section hey <laughs> there ain't no way oh smg4 hello there mm. i mean surprisingly for me i mean when i had my first kiss i was nervous i really was i was 12 years old when I had my first kiss in the fifth or sixth grade, I did I I did fifth and sixth grade in one year. It's weird, but let's say sixth grade. Sixth grade, I got my first kiss with a childhood friend, and I'm not gonna lie, I was scared at the time. You know, I was. You know, we would like text each other back and forth on Snapchat, and I would like tell her like, "You sure you want to do this?" Like we had a plan. We had a plan that we were gonna do it. Originally, it was a dare that we were supposed to kiss from like other friends she had at the time. I, I think, I'm, 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 I'm trying to remember, but it was originally a dare for us to kiss because before that, all we would do is hug each other and cuddle and that's really it. We didn't really touch lips yet. And then we finally did at school. And for some reason, everyone that was there at the field, they all surrounded us. All the kids that were there all surrounded me and this girl they all wanted to see us kiss and as soon as we touched lips it wasn't even anything crazy like i said it was just like that's it just a peck and the whole school went nuts when that happened so nuts to where i literally looked up because my school was on a hill so we're at the bottom and the school is at the top i saw the staff members look down like teachers like assistant principal probably the principal too they were all looking down at us and the, the girl ran away i chased after her and we just went we went into the bathroom well not with her but like we went into the girls and boys bathroom and i was scared and then this kid came up saying um the the assistant principal wants to see y'all so we went there they took it she, they took us to the office called my dad they called her parents my dad didn't really care. He was just like, he was laughing. I guess he was proud of the fact that I got my first kiss. Finally, my mom and my sister were pissed. They were. And I'm pretty sure my, the girl's parents were absolutely furious because literally like a week or so later, like someone told me that uh, the girl told them that we can no longer be together. The parents pretty much said we can't be together. So 
that's pretty much that. It was a complete shit show. Like, that's something I wish I would have erased from my memory. It was terrible. It really was. It was just painful to look back on. And it's been, what? What? Almost... Is this so what? This was the beginning of 2018. So that was almost seven years ago yeah almost seven years ago and it still pains me to this day how aw not awkward but like just crazy that was but i do not like it at all i wish i can just erase that event didn't date at 12 didn't get my first kiss at 12 it was just it was painful it was painful and for those of you that haven't had your first kiss yet if you're still young i advise you to just wait on your first kiss. Like, don't date right away. If you're dating right now, okay, cool. You're probably already kissing by now. But if you haven't yet dated and you haven't yet had your first kiss, be patient with yourself. Just, you know, the time will come and it will come smoother than you think. Pause. <laughs> Instead of happening at a very young age and it's just stupidly awkward to where 10 years down the line, you're going to absolutely hate yourself. <sighs> just... Just be patient with it, and once that time comes, you'll know that it's that time. And just be confident in yourself once that does happen, because if you make it awkward, you're going to hate looking back on it. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy this, I it's literally 16 minutes long. I, I literally said I didn't want to tell the story, because it will make this video like 16 minutes long. And look at that! The video is 16 minutes long. So if you did enjoy this, be sure to give this video a like. If you haven't yet, subscribe. Be sure to reduce for now. Turn on notifications to be notified for any video that I upload. And I'll catch you guys later in the next one whenever I start doing that. So, hope you guys enjoy. I'll catch you guys later. So, take care.